Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rise of the Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Kara. And I'm Brownie. And today we're playing Draw That Lego Brick. Woo! Woo! It's been Second a long time. edition. Yes. <laughs> It's a lot harder to find uh, interesting names for Lego bricks that might be confusing than to just have silhouettes that you have to guess what they are. Do you are, hear that? So. He's trying to make it confusing for us. Oh, Why yeah. wouldn't I try? To, it's like, it was, oh, draw a two-by-one brick. <laughs> that's that's going to be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and uh, you at home, follow along, too. You can grab a pen and paper and try to draw them out and see how close you can get. Yeah. All right. I almost guarantee you, you'll beat Jeremy's score. <laughs> <laughs> but so the basic rules are... I will present Jeremy and Kara with the name of a Lego brick. I will give them a short amount of time to draw what they think that Lego brick is. Whoever is closest to drawing the correct brick or draws the correct brick will get a point. So potentially they could both score in the same round. If potentially neither can score in the same round, or I might give bonus points based on creativity. Oh, Lord, so if you bonus feel stumped, <laughs> if you feel stumped, feel free to try and make me laugh. The bone trick will not work this time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm holding you to that. Audience, we're holding him to that. <laughs> All right, are we ready to go? Like yep. So this is one that they're familiar with, but do they recall explicitly what it looks like? This is a test of their memories. Golly. You've held this piece in your very hands. I know, I've I've seen it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's, I know what that is, and now that I'm in this on the spot, I don't remember whatsoever. <laughs> okay, we have our answers, and we'll reveal them in three, two, one. Oh, Jeremy's got this one, I'm sure of it. All right, well, we've got a couple of things that look like they could be bad robot arms. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jeremy's Jeremy was oh, yeah. so much closer. Surprisingly, uh, I will award Jeremy the first points. I remember seeing it somewhere. I'm like, oh, look at that guy. It's a bad robot arm. Ooh, nose cone, small, one by one. Hmm. All right, answers are locked. We will reveal in three, two, one. There's okay. one of those smooth ramp, like like little mini ramp looking ones. I don't know. And I've okay. just got, that's one, but that's bigger than one. But <laughs> that's what I went with. Well, the, so the, the basic shape is probably what we'll have to go on for these. And here is what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. And Jeremy was, again, very close. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Early lead for Jeremy, but anything can happen. Let's move on to round three. Iron fence, one by four by two with point two W four studs? Uh-oh. All of these names come directly from Lego's pick a brick section of their website. So I didn't make any of these up. These are all the insanity of the Danish. All right, okay. I, okay. All right, we're good. Take your time, but not all of them. Yeah. All right, and we'll reveal our answers in three, two, one. All right, there's a lot of detail in Jeremy's. It looks like a bunch of Pop-Tarts hanging on a clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> Kara went with the classic sort of fence design. We'll see what happens here. All right, and the correct answer is... Ooh. I think I'm closer. She's got the four studs across the top. I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, I'll give. I'm gonna give Kara the points. I think <laughs> it's it's the, it's more ornate than what Kara drew, but it's definitely not what Jeremy drew. Ah. <laughs> All right, here and we go. That is bringing us to round number four. Dragon's fire. I can absolutely remember this to a T. I'm gonna do this so she can't. It's not that she will cheat. It's that you're giving her the ability to cheat. Do you use your imagination? I drew it in green. <laughs> 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 All right, and we have our answers and we'll reveal in three, two, one. Boom, look at that beauty. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks like a cactus that got left out in the sun too long. <laughs> oh, both of you have the same general idea. Woohoo! I will actually award points for both of those because they're both what? pretty dang close. But I've got two on both sides and one in the middle. She does have that, but I have the stud at the bottom. Yeah, and it's wow. vertical, so you both had it facing the wrong direction. So. Oh my goodness, get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round five, the halfway point. Ooh, a plate, one by two with stick. 
This is where it should start getting fairly tricky. I thought that, honestly, the Dragon's Fire I thought was gonna get you. Cause I never thought that was Dragon's Fire. I thought it was like a torch or something. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I just... <laughs> All right. I do it really small. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reveal oh, Kara got in it. three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, Kara probably got it right. <laughs> Can I amend mine? No. All right. Yours so. looks like a sideways square bird with a, or a mosquito. I didn't know how to do how to portray it like that. That was smart. <laughs> All right, and here's what the answer is. Oh, oh, that one. You done got tricked. But Kara's is nicer, so I'll give her the point. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Well, I'm ready for the next round. All right, round six. DW Pains F frame one by four by six. Hmm. Again, copied directly from the Lego Pick a Brick section of their website. Okay, we've got our answers, so we will have them reveal in three, two, one. So these are clear. Panes. Okay, so it's like a cell type. Yeah, like it's like a window, okay. basically with six panes. I just did the frame that the windows would click into. I okay, I I recognize the thing that Jeremy is talking about for sure. Or it's got like shades maybe too. I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, let's see what the answer is. Oh, it's, it's the door. door. It's the door. Oh man, I'd say okay. zero points. I mean. Well, if Jeremy doesn't want points, I won't give him any. Ah. So. <laughs> No points awarded. I'll take points. <laughs> I would have given Jeremy the point if he wouldn't have said no points. Oh, bazinga. So. How would he have gotten the points? It was, it was a really Why? nice drawing. I literally, he made me think exactly of the brick that he drew. Yeah. Here is round seven. Round plate, two by two with I. So, hmm. <laughs> Jeremy's got his artist face. The intensity in the room right now. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen Jeremy concentrate this hard on anything. Ah. All right, they have their answers locked in, and we will reveal in three, two, one. Boom. Interesting. So that's the one that goes through. Okay. And then those are the studs that come up. And this is just a flat plate with an eye painted on it that you would stick on a creature, like a dragon. Oh. Interesting. So Jeremy went for a little more of like a aesthetic finishing piece. Yes. Interesting. Okay. All right. Two distinct answers, and the answer is. Oh my goodness. So I think by far Kara is closer, and I'm going to award her a point <laughs> for that because you're just only off by 90 degrees on the whole. Yeah. 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 Jeremy, I almost picked, there is a piece like that that doesn't have a name like this even remotely close. But <laughs> interesting that you went for that. All right, round eight. Wall element, one by four by three ABS. That's anti-lock brake system. It's not actually anti-lock brake system, in case people watching are actually thinking that. Who knows what it stands for? <laughs> 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 gonna your guys' faces as you're processing through this is uh, interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeremy, I'll give you like two more seconds. All right, that's enough time. And we'll reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> I like the scale marker. See, I did it with bricks. One, two, three rows by one, two, three, four. Okay, interesting, interesting. They have the same basic idea. And the answer is? Oh, I know that piece. Yeah, it's flattened out. So, you know, mine, mine was originally like this right here, just saying. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's the piece! <laughs> so. Oh, look it! Yours just has crocodile scales on it. <laughs> Both of them were pretty close, and... Uh, I'm gonna give Kara a point. Ah. <laughs> Kara's pulling the lead. You're not supposed to be cheering for me. I'm saying like, woo, I gotta kick it in my butt. Okay, gotcha. kick, kick it in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> like kick it in the butt to win. All right, so we're on to round nine. The name of this one is Profile Brick 015.83W Cross. Profile Brick. 
Profile brick 015.83 W cross. I'm off that. Okay. All right, they've got their answers ready. Let's reveal in three, two, one. Oh, Kara. So smart. You know, it's the one that you put the little stick through. Jeremy, any you want to describe what's going on on your ears? Um, so there's regular Lego bricks, and sometimes when you build like walls, there's ones with like a textured front. Okay, so that it's was my only bricky thought. texture. Right. Okay, well, let's see what the right answer is. Oh my <sighs> goodness, that looks like a birthday cake. It kind of does. <laughs> I had this thing though. Yeah. So well, so Jeremy has the texture, which that obviously <laughs> has. You have the hole in the middle, which it obviously mm. has. Neither of yours are round. That's true. I got round pieces. <laughs> 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 Gotta try. <laughs> so, because the game is so far apart right now, I'm just gonna give Jeremy the points. <laughs> Woo! It's not that far apart. Well, it's a lot closer now, suddenly. <laughs> We're on to round number 10. Can I draw a tooth? <laughs> if that's what you think it is. Jeremy seems to have an idea. Golly. Jeremy's putting so much intricate detail into this that I might end up just having to call his time here. Oh, whatever. It's gonna... <laughs> I have no idea what she's drawing, but it looks insane from I don't know inside. what she's drawing either. All right. Well, it looks like they have their so answers bad. in. We will have them reveal in three, two, one. Oh, interesting. That's so. the hole that goes all the way through. This is a gear, and that's the cross piece that goes all the way through. Okay. And this is a gear. It that looks would... like a squid or an octopus. Well, it's a gear. It is very extremely difficult to draw a gear. <gasps> With it, long it was good. It was good. vertical good shaft. Good so you're saying that it's kind of like a wider squatter gear? Yes. Okay. And Kara's is just a big cylinder, basically? It's like the four, two by two round cylinder with a shaft all the way through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interessante. Well, the correct answer is... What? It's a tooth. <laughs> you should have drew the tooth. I was Here's what I was going to do, just for poops and giggles. Dang, it's a good tooth. I would have given credit for that, honestly, because it's a tooth. Oh, lordy. So I will award zero points to anybody for that say, round. I feel that one's worth zero points. Jeremy usually looks like a chef hat that's inside out. Ah, that's what it does look like. <laughs> All right, well, uh, no bonus rounds are needed, considering Kara ended the game with five points and Jeremy a mere four. So congratulations, Kara. Woo! On her overwhelming <laughs> victory, even though I had gave Jeremy points basically for things that didn't deserve them. Ah, but. I'll take what I can get. Hey, you you as an audience can get bonus points for naming who this is and which helmet she's on. Ooh, which clone's helmet does oh, this Oh, that narrows it down. Appear? But it's on a clone. Oh, there's five billion clones, though. Yeah, but there's also people that wear helmets that aren't clones. That's like true. Bicycle couriers and... Uh, okay. That so one guy on Coruscant. You, as the audience, can gain bonus points by naming who this is and what helmet she is on. I like it. In addition to that, why don't you guys like this video? If you support what we're up to, go ahead and subscribe to us. If you're really into what we're up to, ring that notification bell and you'll get notified every time we make a video. And comment below with your answer to Kara's trivia question. <laughs> or anything else you want to put down there, be it something else you want to see us play as a game, a Lego build, just seeing how we're doing. We love to hear from you guys. May the force be with you.